Hey guys, what's up? Xanthiquai here to bring you another tutorial. Um, this tutorial is in the Crisis, the Crytek Sandbox 2. Um, my Sony Vegas tutorial didn't quite hit off as I expected, so I'm going to kind of screw that idea and move on to something new. I don't want to spend too much time on, think on projects that are going nowhere. So uh, we're going to move on with this tutorial, and uh, once you open up Crisis, not Crisis, but once you up once you open up the Crytek engine, well, I'm getting some major levels. All right. Once you open up the Crytek Sandbox 2, you see just a gray screen, but this is a blue screen, so just ignore that. You go up to File, New, and enter your map name. Since I've done this twice now, I'm going to call it Map 2, and I'm going to press OK. There you go. You see this thing. You see this white piece of thing in the sky. This white piece of thing is your water, and the rest of that water is your map. Um, we're going to go up to Edit Terrain, and we're going to go up to Modify, Set Max Height for 20. Because the set water level is at 16, but you can always edit that. We're going to take a smaller brush tool, and we are going to simply put it right here. Just kind of make it into a circle thing. Um, Okay, that's very relevant. You can see it's out there, but you still have this white, and that's really annoying. So if you go up to uh, View, no, you go up to Tools, and you click Reload Terrain, and voila, you see water and this white piece of crap out here. <laughs> Just move about the map by pressing white click in your arrow keys, or the other arrow keys, WASD. Um, hmm, alright, so as you see you have this white piece of thing and you're probably wondering what the hell is this, because this is not a beautiful map already set for me. So uh, we need to go up to terrain, texture, and up here you see this little squiggly line thing that says new, type in new, we're just going to name it grass, enter, you move this up so it's the primary one. Um, we need a loaded texture. Let's just do, uh, uh, let's see, asphalt, sure. Alright, so edit surface type, so we're going to add one, no we're not, that's right, no, I don't know if that's going to add, alright, surface type one. We're just going to go to material editor here. You're going to get this big window and you go to materials, um, terrain, and you get to find the asphalt, and it's stupid. Um, so I'm just going to pick something and hope it goes to asphalt. I'm just going to pick dirt, and this is dirt. I don't even know what this is. It's like dirt 4 or something. No, it's 1x. Dirt 1x. Sorry. Alright, and you click pick selected. So it's either going to go to asphalt or it's going to go to, um, I don't know why I even named it grass, that's really stupid. Um, press OK, and you see it has done nothing, and this is where I got stuck forever because I was like, what the hell. But if you go up here and you um, generate, uh, you go up to file, and then you press generate surface textures. Uh, if your map's bigger, do uh, like one of these bigger ones, but mine's just a small piece of circle. And um, these don't really matter. I'm not going to do high quality right now. It doesn't matter. If I was making a map, I'd be like, oh, look at that. Okay, so you see grass, and you're like, oh, what the hell? I picked asphalt. Um, you go up here to tools and reload terrain. And of course, that didn't work. Go figure. Tools. Um, texture, shaders, no. Reload terrain, no. Generate surface textures again. That'd be a blast. Aha, there's my asphalt. Okay, so I guess you have to do it twice. I don't know why, but there's your asphalt. Um, so you have this wonderful piece of asphalt island. Why why did I mean this asphalt? Who cares? Um, so we're at four minutes. Uh that's gonna include today's tutorial. Um next tutorial I'm gonna show you how to uh spawn items, cars, houses things of the sort um, but I have to leave in like an hour so uh, this is Xanthacquire
Which button stop? Signing out.